Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the Superbooth show in Berlin in the Reason Studios tent, which for some reason is 10 degrees warmer than everywhere else on the sure entire is. site. And I'm with Matthias. Lovely to meet you, Matthias. Hi, yeah. So at this show, there's quite a big new launch for Reason Studios, yes, which so. is the Object Modeling Synthesizer. Tell us a bit about this. So, so Object came out of maybe two ideas at once. So we wanted to, first and foremost, we wanted to make uh, an instrument that really makes sounds that are usable in all types of music. And I, as product manager, I went around and listening to what, what was happening in underground music, chart toppers, and I heard all of these realistic sounding instruments mixed in with all the synths and drum machines. So that led us down the route to a physical modeling instrument. And then when we started building the physical modeling instrument, one thing we really wanted to do, because it's such an underutilized technology, we wanted to open the hood on that. We wanted to say, hang on, Physical modeling synthesis. It's a synthesizer. So we wanted to parameterize it properly, give you all the parameters, open the hood and let you set the frequencies rather than choosing something preset from a menu or doing like a purpose built uh, physical modeling synth like friction we did before that was just for violin sounds. So object is a, an open ended physical modeling synth that makes everything from bells and mallets and percussion and skin drums to synthetic pads and anything in between. So why do you think physical modeling is so underused? Because I remember like 20 years ago when Yamaha introduced the VL yeah, modeling VL1, synthesizer. Yeah. Everyone, there was a massive fuss about it and then no one bought it. Yeah, you know? I think one of the things is that physical modeling can be hard to introduce in terms of the parameters. It's not, it's not your daddy's low-pass filter, right? It's something else. And it takes a little bit of learning. But we think we both found a good design language for it but also found a way to encourage experimentation to really, that's part of why it's open-ended. We wanted to let people realize that just like how you learned on an analog synth like this one, that the filter removes frequencies and the oscillators can be detuned and sync. You learn those things. You learn these things too. And I think now we're also at a level where there's so many synths and we're not innocent, <laughs> but there's so many synths. So we wanted to do something new and let people experience something new. So the fundamentals of physical modeling synths, usually you have an exciter and then you have a resonator. Yes. Is that how it works here? Exactly. Object is built from uh, an exciter section that has quite a few different ways of exciting the instrument. Both has a small impact that's more akin to the classic stick or small burst. It also has a noise section that is quite capable that is anything from white noise to static to low pass noise that can create these swells and pads. But since we're in Reason, we also have the back of the rack where you can plug in any external signal as the exciter, which we think is really important. So we have uh, already videos of people brushing a microphone to get these beautiful sounds. And Ryan, who made our video, the launch video, is drumming his microphone to play a snare drum. So there's all ways to excite it. And then the resonator section is actually three different resonators that be, can be configured in parallel or actually feed into each other to create super complex exciter signals. One that is modal synthesis, which is a bit more basic. It's resonating filters. And two of them we call the objects, which are similar to waveguides, but they're very complex and they also feed back into each other in a way that makes these super realistic, interesting textures uh, that would be very hard to achieve otherwise. Um, you talk about wanting to make a, an instrument that's genuinely musical. I mean, one of the issues that can arise with technologies like physical modeling synths is that as soon as you start to move the faders, it all goes horribly off key. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very common. We actually have a dedicated please tune it back button <laughs> for that reason. It's, it's when working with feedback that most physical modeling is, it is tricky because we don't know what the result is until it happens. So we basically let you experiment and then help you fix it. <laughs> Excellent. So how soon is this going to be available? It's available today. We're launching first day at Superbooth. So it's included in the Reason Plus if you're a subscriber, just automatically pops up in Companion and you can download it. And it's also available as an add-on purchase if you have a Reason license uh, for 109 euros, but we have an introductory offer, 20% off until May 25th. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Matthias. I'm hoping you're going to put it through its paces for us now. Sure will. Thank you. Thanks.